Hello, this is Alex Bodine, and today I'm going to show you how to flash a custom ROM on your Android device. Okay, so before we go through the process of flashing a custom ROM, I first need to put out a disclaimer that this video does not show you how to root your phone, unlock your bootloader, or install a customer recovery menu. It merely uh, demonstrates the process of flashing a custom ROM on your device as well as backing up and restoring a uh, ROM. But this and it also implies that you have twerp installed. But um going beyond that, you might be asking yourself, why would you want a custom ROM on your device? Well <coughs> some devices come with software that is hampers the ability of the device to function and slows down its process. Um, some examples of this are TouchWiz on Samsung devices where TouchWiz will slow down the experience of the phone and make it run slower than if it didn't have that software running on it in the first place. Um, so <coughs> right now I'm going to show you how to flash custom ROM. Okay, so before we actually flash ROM, we have to go find a ROM. So a really great website that has a bunch of custom ROMs is XDA Developers, which is a development website where people make custom ROMs for Android devices. And you can find uh, a custom ROM that's specific to what device you have. But since I have, since I have a uh, Optimus G, I'll just go to AT&T Optimus G on XDA. Alternatively, if you had a different device, such as like such as a Samsung Galaxy S3, you just type it in here. And here are the different variants of the Galaxy S3. So now we're we're in the forum for the phone. <coughs> so we just need to find a ROM to flash. So we go into Optimus G Android Development. Android development is a thread which is within the forum that has had people test it before and it's cur it's currently out of the testing phase more people have tried it out it's not in alpha anymore so it's usually pretty reliable so these ROMs are relatively new they're mostly from November November December so uh, we're gonna just try out. Um, let's see, what should we try out? We should try. Let's just try out um, Carbon ROM. So uh, here are the here's the information about the ROM, and here are the download links. <clears throat> This link is the download link for the ROM, and this is the one for the GAPS. The GAPS are Google Apps, which allow you to uh, install stuff such as YouTube, Gmail, Play Store. <coughs> Without GAPS, you will not be able to download apps, which you, do, which you would usually be able to from the uh, Android Play Store. And the download link for the ROM is just the actual thing that you're flashing to, and the which is the base for what you're using. So now I will just jump back into my phone, and you'll see these files. Okay, so um, now the ROM is currently on my device, or now the files are currently on my device. So I'll just go show you that. And they are in my ROM folder. Okay, so uh, here's the carbon ROM uh, carbon ROM file, and here's the gaps for the carbon ROM. So um, usually, if you are uh, flashing a ROM from your stock ROM that you that comes with your device, uh, you uh, would have to download a Goo Manager because um, Right now I'm running a custom ROM and I get the ability to re hit reboot and I get the ability to hit recovery so I just boot directly into recovery. But if you are on a stock 
ROM from your manufacturer, you won't have that. So you should have to download Goo Manager from the uh, Google Play Store. And then you get you get this ability to reboot to your recovery menu. So we just click on that and it brings us to the recovery menu. Okay, so now we are in the recovery menu and we can now flash. But um, the number one thing you should always do before you flash is back up your current ROM. The, this is a great idea and you should always do this because if you try to flash a ROM and it doesn't work or something I'll explain next, um, you don't want to be screwed over and then try to get your stuff back and not be able to. So you always want to back up your current ROM. And I've already done that because it takes a while to uh, back up your current ROM if there's a lot of stuff on it. And like what I said before, the reason you want to back up is because you have to factory reset every time you uh, flash a new ROM. And that wipes all your stuff off your device. So that's why you want to uh, back up. So, before you flash, you just have to hit Advanced Swipe and then click on Delicate Cache and Normal Cache and then Swipe to Wipe. Then you hit Back and then you hit Back again and Swipe to Factory Reset. And OK, now it's uh, Factory Resetting. And now it's done uh, wiping your device. So now we just hit Install. And go to the folder that we put the ROM on and we click on carbon ROM and the gaps and now we swipe to confirm the flash Okay, now we just have to reboot the system and it'll reboot into Carbon ROM. Okay, and now we are in Carbon ROM. And let's just uh let's just skip all let's just skip over all of this. And um as you can see, we are now in Carbon ROM. It's it's currently running its own launcher. But uh, okay. Now say you you don't like this ROM. You want your old ROM back. You want all your stuff back. Uh, luckily, like the other ROM I was on, we can hit reboot and hit recovery. So now we can go back to the recovery menu and uh, restore from our previous backup. So we're gonna just go back to Twerp. And then we just rewipe everything. We rip the cache and rewipe the cat. Uh, rewipe the double cache and rewipe the uh, normal cache, and we swipe. And then we uh, just swipe to factory reset, just to wipe that off. And then um, to get, and since you should have created a backup, we just hit restore. And my previous backup was twelve five thirteen because that's what the day is. Just click on that and you swipe to restore. And now it just restores your uh, previous backup before you decide to wipe your cache, delve the cache, and factory reset.
and now it's done restoring and it's now rebooting back into the old uh, backup. And that is how you flash a custom ROM on Android.